factors affecting the workability of concrete. Today we discuss one of the important aspects of concrete construction. We are going to look at each factor affecting concrete workability. At the end of this video, you will be able to understand the causes of low workable concrete. Workability of concrete a foremost important as the compressive strength of the concrete. If concrete is not workable, construction work is very difficult as it is very problematic to handle low workable concrete. Pouring such concrete could lead to quality issues in construction. On the other hand, workable concrete makes concrete pouring easier. The issues could arise due to the low workability are poor compaction, formation of the honeycombs, difficulty in flowing concrete in the areas where the reinforcement congestion is higher, difficulty in handling the concrete at the site. A workable concrete is a must to do construction work without much difficulty. Therefore, it is very important to study the factors affecting the workability of concrete. Let's see what the factors affecting the workability of concrete. Water cement ratio. Mix proportions, size of the aggregates, shape of the aggregates, grading of aggregates, surface texture of aggregates, use of the admixtures, use of the supplementary cementitious materials, time, temperature. Knowing the impact of each of the above factors is vital to control the issues related to the workability of concrete. Therefore, let's discuss each type of factor in brief. Water cement ratio. The water cement ratio is an indicator of the content of water added to a concrete mix. The water cement ratio is decided at the mix design and is kept constant for a particular concrete mix. It implies that a constant water content will be added to the concrete mix. More the water in the concrete, the more workability of concrete. However, we cannot add water as we wish. Water shall only be added as specified in the mix design. The factor we discuss next is the mix proportions. The aggregate to cement ratio is affecting the workability of concrete. When the aggregate to cement ratio increases, there is less cement paste. Therefore, workability is reduced. The reduction of the aggregate to cement ratio leads to an increase in the workability of concrete. Further, this ratio is controlled by the mix designed to achieve to required consistency of the concrete. Size of the aggregates. The size of the aggregate makes a considerable impact on the concrete workability. The larger aggregate has a higher surface area. However, if we consider the same volume of aggregates with smaller aggregates, it has a higher total surface area compared to the sample having the same volume of larger aggregate. When the size of the aggregates is lesser, the amount of water required to make the concrete workable is higher. Further, when the size of the aggregate is larger, a lesser amount of water is required to make the concrete workable. Shape of the aggregates. Generally, round aggregates are more convenient to mix when compared with other types of aggregates. The regular type of aggregate has less workability due to the increase in the surface area. Grading of aggregates. Well-graded aggregates have higher workable concrete. If the aggregates are graded well, the void in the concrete will be minimal. It increases the workability of concrete. Also, the reduction in voids in the concrete avoids the segregation of concrete. Surface texture of aggregates. Aggregates having smoother surface areas produce a more workable concrete mix than that having a rough surface. If the surface is rough, it has more friction and as a result that the workability will reduce. Further, water absorption is less when the surface texture is smoother and it improves workability comparatively. Admixtures There are admixtures to improve the workability of concrete without adding water to concrete. It is a greater advantage because if we have good workability with less content of water, there is a possibility of increasing the strength of the concrete. If we add a water-reducing admixture without changing the water-cement ratio, we will get higher workability. Apart from that, with the addition of the water reducer, we can reduce the water content. Thus, we can reduce the cement content to maintain the same water-cement ratio. It does not change the strength of the concrete. Use of supplementary cementitious materials. We use fly ash, silica fume, GGBS, etc. as cementitious materials in concrete production. They are added as replacements or additives to the concrete. For example, we produce concrete for thick concrete. Fly ash is added to the concrete to reduce cement content to minimize the heat generated in the hydration process. These materials have higher surface area compared with cement and they improve the reactivity of the concrete. The addition of supplementary cementitious materials improves the workability of the concrete. Time The time after mixing the concrete directly affects the workability of concrete. We cannot control the drop in the workability of concrete with time. The conventional mix drops the slump of the concrete rapidly. The concrete added in admixture like superplasticizers can retain the slump for a certain period. It could be sufficient for proceeding with the construction work. After a certain period, it starts dropping the workability rapidly even though an admixture is added. Temperature Rising temperature in the concrete increases the rate of evaporation of the water in the concrete mixture. 
It leads to reduced workability. Ambient temperature also directly affects concrete workability as the temperature rises, evaporation increases. And is the last factor we discussed today. In summary, today we discussed the factors affecting the workability of concrete. We briefly studied each factor. I hope that this discussion was useful to you. Let's meet again for a new video. Thank you.